My name is Hazem Gaber, and we're going to look at Microsoft Excel today. So in our last video, we installed Microsoft Excel. Now we're going to open it up. We just go to our start menu and Excel opens up. So you'll notice on our splash page here, that we've got a few options. So uh, what are our options? Number one, we've got new. So new lets us create a new file. Open lets us uh, open an existing file. Uh, we can see here that we have recent files. So all of the files that we've been previously uh, opened in Excel will show up in a list uh, up to a certain amount. We've also got more workbooks. Uh, Excel has some tutorials. So here we've got a welcome tutorial, a formula, pivot table. We've got ideas for templates. We can click on more templates to see uh, more templates. We've also got, also tells us who's signed into Excel and we can access our account from here and we can access options. So let's open up a blank workbook right now. So let's erase everything and let's open up a blank workbook. So this is our basic workbook. Uh, at the top, you have controls for uh, making the window bigger or smaller. You've also got the ability to comment uh, and share this file with other people. Uh, you'll also see at the top here, what we call the ribbon. So the ribbon is the portion of buttons that allow you to work on your file. So there's that the buttons are going to change depending on what you're doing. So if you're working on a graph or a chart or a table, you're going to see additional options for that object. But day to day, you'll always see file. So file takes you back to the original file menu. Uh, home is your basic stuff, copy, paste, fonts, uh, formatting. You've also got insert where you can create data, charts, tables. Uh, draw allows you to, to use ink. The page layout allows you to change the shape and orientation of the page. A formula allows you to insert a lot of common formulas. Data allows you to obtain data from external sources. Review allows you to add comments, uh, do accessibility check your spelling, make sure your formulas make sense. View allows you to adjust the way that the page layout appears. Automate allows you to create scripts and then help uh, lets you look up help. You'll also notice right below the ribbon is a, what we call a formula bar. So the formula bar is right here and this allows you to enter a formula into any cell that's selected. So rows in Excel are numbered one to like a trillion and they're all on this side. And then columns are numbered A to a trillion and they're on the top. So we can refer to a cell by the row and column. So actually column and then row. So, so for example, the first cell is A1. I can select here I7. So I can select here Q12. And you'll notice the uh, cell that we're in appears in this name box here. 
and we can enter any cell we want. So if I go L3, for example, uh, we'll go automatically to L3. Generally, you'll see only the cells that you're working on, but you can scroll literally forever. Not forever, but almost forever. 64-bit uh, office gives you more cells than 32-bit office. At the bottom of our screen here, we have the sheet that we're on. So in this case, I've only got sheet one, but I can press the plus sign and I can add additional sheets all the way, as many sheets as uh, I need to add. And then uh, at, the, at the bottom, bottom right here are our zoom controls. So we can go from, uh, we can zoom in and out of our sheet and we can also have different display options. And that summarizes uh, how the Excel screen looks like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.